200 boys as a boarding school and 300 day school for the girls and also a uh, he'll open the kitchen for the poor people to have hot food in the evening so it was quite a big operation to deal with and the family sold the building to the council the council after 1901 would go to over the 1800 if you look at the printing they used the original metal metal letter there so once you press that that will bang against that and it comes in and it bangs against that And that was number 10 when we first came in. Uh, number 8, and behind me is number 10. Okay, three identical, he actually had five buildings, but two of them got bombed or damaged or God knows what happened to it. So this is a typical, they would have a grill in here, and they would have a cast iron hot water tank here as well. And the source of fuel would be coal. So there was income fund. We will recreate a living uh, kitchen here. Mm -hmm. So children can see how yeah, and these tiles, uh, the floor, um, uh, these are original tiles. Uh, so this this would have been just another kitchen like we got there, but we turned that into a an evolution area and we wanted to create a new area that is. We invested quite a bit of money into doing this one, and there's one on the other side of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. But flexibility uh, only came four years ago, and we started the work on this one. You see, so plant, living plants. You'll see on your posters. Uh, you, you will see the pictures on your posters as well. And you see the sparkling water, that, that is known as antibacterial fluid. So ladies love gold. So this is done in gold colour. Uh, and that's in there. Uh... The we have a air, uh, we have a temperature monitor upstairs. It's mm. always high. Now these are the rooms. These are original fireplaces. We spent about 100k refurbishing them. Okay. So these are original windows. We took everything out. We had to uh, trim them, put them back again. And where possible, we also changed the colors. Well, we get about 2,000 people in the other building. Uh, these are the old, um, old surrogates. So, children. And he would have had his children taught here with the rest of the orphans because of the car. Uh, it's it's not original but it's it's the one it's a replica of the of, the, of one of the say shall i say number eight behind number eight 
That is the original mushroom. This is a fire hose. I'm not sure, it's probably early 1900, but not 1800. I had to replace them and make them into a better. This, to replace these, is 70 pound a yard or a foot away, but that's kind of about 10, 10k. And this is where we made the opening here. We're connecting the two buildings. So the original masjid stops here on this corridor. Yeah. Okay? And that would have been Abdullah Kulian's private office. Um, so he would have a desk in here. Desk here. You know, the last I showed you. Mm -hmm. So usually, one, one passage here, and there would have been a steps uh, where the tile is, and there would be further three steps here, there, mm -hmm. and then from here, you have this opening, which is this arch here, and they would have had a crescent. On the, we didn't put it because of the head height and mm. what we've got here and he's got the three steps covered up you mm. see um, sorry. in there yeah there's Abdullah Kulam sitting right in this corner here okay there is an, a very high official one of the consul from Turkey okay, that's here and there's some Turkish. people from Africa one oh. 1891 there's Abdullah Kulam in the middle there's a prince from India and a lady from England okay and it scares me, it looks like a bit of an orthodox type. Because here is too many men mingling here, it's too much, uh, too much. Uh, so when the Jumma time comes, you put the carpet down mm. and when it's not. Now, the masjid is the heartbeat for the Ummah. When it thrives, the Ummah thrives. And when it falls, the Ummah shall fall. May Allah guide us to the masjid. I mean.